Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take a 360 panorama image inside Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you would want to do this. But for me, I was actually trying to look into something that I can work in Unreal Engine 4 and move it over to Maya or 3ds Max without actually exporting the assets for just like close-ups or something like that. So my thinking was I can actually use the Unreal Engine 4 environment and then uh, export out a 360 HDRI to be used in Maya or 3ds Max. Now this asset right here I got from ArtStation. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put the links in the comments below. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and enable that plugin. So edit, plugins, and it's called Panorama. P-A-N-O, Panoramic Capture. I already had it turned on here so we can save some time. So we're going to close that. And then what we're going to do next is go to the View Options right here. And we're going to turn on the Show Engine Content and the Show Plugin Content right here. Okay, and then we're going to click right here to Show Source Panel. And then we're going to search for Panorama. And we're going to check this one right here, Panoramic Capture Content. Go to Assets, and this is the BP right here. Right now, there's not really a cool little gooey or anything like that we're gonna have to get in the blueprint to use this thing here so uh with that being said let's go ahead and double click that uh, blueprint right there and it's gonna show you the actual blueprint i'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger so let's go line by line on event begin play it's gonna render uh the console command right here you can turn this off if you want uh one or zero and then the capture parameters right here is gonna is this right here is where it's gonna save your panorama image and then right here is the capture width so it's at 1024 right now but let's go ahead and increase it to 4096 and then press enter and then if you want to mess around with more uh the settings you can if you want but for now I'm just going to leave it as default because to be honest, I think it does a good job by just changing the resolution here and whatnot. So the next uh, option are the render passes. So you can export render passes similar to how you can do it in the new movie render queue. So you have a final color right here. As you can see, it's one. And if I wanted to, I would can also turn on a scene depth, normal, base color, ambient occlusion, and then roughness, and then metallic. So to turn it on, you just put a one in there and then save it if you want. But I'm going to leave this zero for now. And then the next uh, area right here is the bit depth. Now I am going to be rendering out a 32 bits. Uh, so I'm going to change that to 32. As you can see, I think by default that is 8. So if it is 8, uh, it's going to render out a PNG or a JPEG. If it's 32, it's going to render out an open EXR file. So that's what we want. Okay, so it's asking us if we want mono or stereo. I'm going to leave it as mono. So uh, SP, monoscopic, space 1. And then by default, this thing is connected to right here, but I'm not going to use this right here. I'm going to use the console to actually capture the um, 360. So I'm going to disconnect this by holding control, and that's going to disconnect it. Now you can do a single frame, and you can also do a movie 360. So I'm going to go ahead and compile, save, and I'm going to go back to our scene. Now, like most plugins right now in the beta phase, some options or some effects are not working with this panoramic capture so uh, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and turn on all those fancy settings like any ssao so i'm gonna go ahead and go to my pro post processing just to see what this thing has on so no bloom or anything like that exposure i i'm gonna leave it uh, auto exposure for now. Let's see what that looks like. And then chromatic aberration, turn it off. Especially the vignettes, make sure you turn off. And then the lens flares as well. So turn all that stuff off. And um, pretty much just trial and error, like I said. And just make sure there's no tra ray tracing, which we can also check here in output log if I go... All right, and as you can see right there, it's zero, so there's no ray tracing. Okay, so what we're going to do now um, is let's go ahead and capture that 360. It's pretty easy. Uh, we're just going to make sure that we're in game mode. So we go, let's go to Windows, World Settings right here, and you're going to see the World Settings popping up right here. We're going to change this to game mode right here. So that means when I press play, we're actually inside the game. I can actually WASD. Now we are texture streaming pull over budget. So as you can see right there on the top left. So let's go ahead and increase that so we don't run into any problems. Texture streaming. And you are going to see this quite a bit. And as you can see, uh, actually it's pull size. Be right here. Streaming pull size is only at 1600, uh, 600. So let's go ahead and change it to 10,000. Okay, so that's good. We shouldn't be getting that error now. So if I press play... You're going to see that we can WASD our way out. All right, so what we're going to do is just set up where we want to take this 360. So I'm going to go ahead and just go right here in the living room slash kitchen area. I'm going to point where I want it to do it. And then what I'm going to do is press the tilde key. 
so I can bring up my console command, as you can see right here. Now, in your map, if the tilde key is not working, you'll have to find out what that button is. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this for a second so I can show you where you can find that. So if I go to Edit, Project Settings, and then if you go to your input under the engine, we're going to go ahead and type in console, you're going to see that the console key is actually tilde. You can change that to whatever you want, but in this specific project, it's the tilde key. So go back. Let's go ahead and press play again. All right, I'm already set up there. So tilde key, I'm going to pop up the console. And what we want is actually sp, sp dot and then panorama. And it's going to be the panoramic screenshot. Now, after I press enter, Unreal Engine 4 is going to freeze because it's taking a snapshot, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Okay, so it looks like it took a couple of minutes to render out. So let's go ahead and go to that folder so we can find the file. Press escape. Okay, so here we are in the file folder. I'm going to go ahead and double click and it's going to open it in Photoshop so you can take a look and see our 360 photo. And there you go. Now you can see the 360 photo that we just took from Unreal Engine 4. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit overexposed. But like I said, uh, you can tweak the exposures if you want. But I just wanted to see you guys how quickly you can get a 360 image out of UE4 to maybe use as an HDRI environment in Maya, Blender, or 3ds Max. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys later.